So professional players' bats. Why does everybody want them? What's so special about them? In today's video, we're gonna find out. That is a lovely shot. That's six. Benny Howe, and this time he does. It's exactly what he does. He waited. He's out. Well, that's a nice bit of contact, and it's... Oh, that one has found the middle of the bat. And it's gone a long, long way. This time, right out of the screws. Juicy local toss. Thanks to Galutlo in the boundaries. And there goes another one. We... Oh, that's big. It's down the ground. Yep, one bounce and over the... He goes up and he goes over again. Yes. <laughs> oh, we in the pot can hear the noise. The senior partner, Will Smead. We haven't seen anything from Livingston yet, and we're not going to. Oh, that sounded good. That sounded good. It Get out. Well, he just had to keep going in blocks of sixes. Will Smead, history maker. And still with the awareness to come back again. Take a bow. Absolute brilliance at Edge Baston. Today's bat that we're going to be looking at is from World Class Willow. Uh, this was a used bat. Uh, it had white ball marks on it, but we've taken it into the nets and used it ourselves. And we've also let a few of the guys here at the Adel Rashid Cricket Centre try it out as well. It's unbelievably special. Uh, not only because it's a top class piece of wood, that's been really well made. Um, it's also because it belongs to Will Smead. Uh, this was actually used in the PSL in the hundreds, so um, it had a bit of a, a clean up uh, at Bridgewater where their workshop is, um, and then we were given it to test out. So we got an idea as to how good um, his bats are. So let's talk about pro bats then. So we've actually had this bat for quite a while, and <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> It's not something that we want to let go of. We've had every comment from, it's amazing, um, to it's the best bat I've ever used, uh, to someone even saying that it was like a cheat code in a video game. Um, and if I was to end the review there, you'd pretty much know everything that you needed to know. Oops, about the bat. But obviously you want more details, so let's get into it. So Mike Kennedy, who is the head bat maker at World Class Willow, uh, he sent this over to us to try out. It's actually one that Will had used in the PSL uh, and in the 100. Uh, not the one that he scored 100 with, but I think with this one, I definitely feel like I, I could score 100 easily. Uh, so yeah, you can see we've obviously not been as accurate as Will. We've got red ball marks on the edge, on both edges actually, and all over the bat. Um, but like Dan from Wee Cricket said uh, about his World Class Willow, it's like having a cheat code. Um, for us, when we used it, uh, it very much behaves that way. We talk about how, you know, probably coaching could make you a better player, your talent makes you a better player. You know, just because you've got an expensive bat and a better bat, it doesn't necessarily make you a better player. Um, but if you're wielding something like this, um, you do feel invincible. I certainly felt invincible uh, when I used it. Um, I just wanted to try and smash everything. Um, yeah, it was unbelievably stunning. You're talking about massive specs, um, a tiny little bit of concaving on it, but, pff, you know, who really cares about that when the bat... Uh, sends the ball to all parts. Now, Will had tape binding. One funny thing we noticed was, was that when we put the bat through the gauge, um, it actually got a little bit stuck down here. So I reckon if, uh, if you were an umpire in a match that Will was playing in and you put a gauge through it and it got stuck in there, you might consider that an illegal bat. Um, probably something to watch out for if you do play professional cricket. Um, but everything else fits within the limits. It's just a massive, massive bat. Um, I think this particular shape was based on Riley Russo. Um, that's what we'll ask for with this. Um, you are getting that gigantic swell. 
You also got a nice face camera on it as well. So a little bit rounder, so that coupled together just gives you a really, really massive piece of wood in the hitting area there. Um, higher up on the shoulders, what I like to see and what I see on the Pro Bats is more wood held up here. Um, makes the bat pick up miles lighter because you're distributing more wood higher up, which I really like to see. Um, also the durability in the shoulders. Uh, as you see with a lot of those Pro Bats, um, they're always putting tape binding or uh, edge tape all around it to hold it together. But with a bat with sort of massive specs up in this area, it's not really something you have to uh, worry a huge amount about. Uh, as is typical with most Pro Bats, they've gone with the fibre sheet. So if you want to make your bat look more pro, then go with fibre instead of clear. Uh, looking at the grains, yeah, very straight, um, very clean. A very, very nice piece of wood, a light piece of wood. A little bit of cracking here on the edge, but that's fine, nothing to, to worry about. Um, the handle, so we've got very much an oval in the bottom hand, and that oval sort of runs quite high up. A little bit around rounding towards the top, but this sort of oval extended, um, it's something that I actually personally quite like. I've seen it on the Newbury Axe before, um, some people may not like that, and obviously when you're getting a bat made uh, from a company like World Class Willow, you can specify maybe to have something a bit rounder here instead of having it sort of flatter along these sides. But for me, that works really well. It means I know which way the bat's facing and I'm not accidentally holding it too open or too closed. Um, yeah, the grip setup that Will has. So this type of bracelet grip, really popular now. I see Grey Nichols, I think, are putting it in a lot of their bats. Um, I like it, I think they feel really nice. Um, he's gone with loads of counterbalance rubber on the top. Uh, when I flick through this, I actually counted five bits of rubber on the top there. Definitely something to do if your bat's not picking up quite as nice and you wanna jiggle it about a bit at home yourself. And then underneath, he's actually got a second grip here. He's just got a normal chevron um, just to thicken it up even further. Could be to dampen it slightly. Um, the only issue I had with this grip when I was using it was I, I do feel like it made the whole sort of grip setup slide a bit. So maybe a slightly tighter grip would be better there because you can just feel it twisting a little bit there. So that's something to be careful uh, with when you've got sort of a double grip setup that it isn't sliding around underneath. So for me, maybe I'd lose that grip, uh, do it with tape. Uh, instead put medical tape around that to secure it up more than using a second grip or if you are going to use a second grip just make sure uh, the actual uh, circumference inside um, maybe is a bit narrower so it grips better not so difficult with a handle as thick as this one but some of the subcontinent made bats uh, where they like to use thinner handles it may be tricky for a grip to, to hold in place like that now for me the big feature of this bat is its pickup. So how it feels in hand with this grip set up. Yeah, I mean, it feels really nice. You know, it's a really good handle setup uh, that he's got. Um, you feel the counterbalance benefit coupled with all this wood up here. I mean, I've had people guess the weight. Say they thought 2.9, which was on the high side for them. I've had a person even guess as low as 2.7. But when you tell them it's 212 and a half, um, nobody believes you. It, it, it just doesn't register. It's not possible that it's 212 and a half. It just feels that light. So you've got a bit of the, uh, the Aldred uh, hyperbole going on there. Um, when you think it's four ounces lighter. But honestly, you get that benefit with the Probats. You know, that low density of wood, that shifting of wood higher up onto the blade. Um, quality bat making as well, uh, thicker handle, all this stuff comes together, you know, to produce something truly spectacular. And like we said, it, it comes down to the ping, it comes down to the pickup, that pickup there with this bonkers. And then, yeah, it all comes down to balance. And pros like bats that are balanced. Better balance means you can make those bigger bats, those heavier bats, and they do feel lighter. So when coming back to pro bats, Generally, you want something that's super well balanced. And this one definitely is. So a cheat code back, it usually means that the ball absolutely flies when you hit it. 
and it makes you feel so unbelievably confident that everything you hit is going to race to the boundary. So what makes a pro bat? Well, the first thing is it needs to be a bat that a pro has used. You get lots of bats that bat makers will say, oh, this was made for this player, that player. But unless the player actually uses it, I wouldn't really call it a pro bat. Um, you can just say it was a bat that was made for a player. Now, surely you think, well, it was made for that player, then that player would have had their hands on it and they'd be using it. Why would it go to anybody else? Well, the reality is when you're making a bat, you don't know exactly what, what weight it's going to come out finished. You can make good guesses, but you can't always guarantee it. So, bat makers invariably have to make them in batches. Hopefully with light bits of wood, with the prospect that some of the bats come out just how the players want them. Pros can reject them for feel. It may have nothing to do with the actual weight. It just doesn't feel that nice in the hands. Could be the balance, could be the handle, could be anything. Things like the handle you can mitigate. Lots of players like to, uh, you know, put taping on, change the shape of the handle themselves. Um, but if it just doesn't feel right, then yeah, they may reject it out of hand. People like you and I um, can have it for ourselves to use. So pro bats, well, the big thing is they need to ping. And this bat, the ping is absolutely outrageous on this. I can see why world-class Willow have given this to Will Smead um, because it really does feel like a cheat code. It makes me feel like every single ball that I can hit is going to go. And it makes me committed to playing shots. And that's what bats should be for, to make you feel confident that you can go out there and do a job. There's no point in having a bat that makes you feel uncomfortable and worried that you're going to get out or not be able to, to beat that fielder. Um, and you get none of that. Unless you're batting like me. <laughs> There's a psychological component. When I look at the bat, I want it to look big. And if it looks big, I feel super confident. Yeah, the ping is lovely. It's immense. If you're an opening batter like Will Smead, you can understand using a bat like this while you'd score 100 in T20 or in the 100, even if your talents don't match up to his. And definitely I understand people say it's about the player, it's not the bat. But I'm not that good a player. And this makes me feel infinitely better than my actual ability level. Whoops. You are looking for that characteristic light straight grains for me. Um, don't really worry about how many grains on the bat. I mean, this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven grains on it. But it plays like an absolute dream. And then if we talk about the actual um, ping itself, um, just using it here, whether bowling machine or whether, as you've seen here, plenty of people bowling at it, it's outrageous. Honestly, ridiculous how good um, the performance is with this bat. Uh, so much so that literally everybody that's used it here was like, I'll take it off you, I want that bat. But no, we're not going to let them buy it. It's going into a raffle. It's going to go for a good cause. And somebody uh, who's been watching this review will probably win this bat. So... Um, yeah, Will's not getting it back, uh, but he knows it's going to a good cause. So, um, yeah, I just love it. Just get the ball out and see. I'll give you guys a little bit of an idea. This is a very soft ball. So you're probably not going to get the, uh, the sound. I could go and find a hard ball for you, lots of people, but it just, just pings everywhere on this bat. Even higher up, it's pinging. But in the meat, it's just ridiculous. And this ball is unbelievably soft, but it just feels so nice. 
That ball was terrible. Um, this one looks like it's quite beaten up, but this is a Bradford League Dukes ball, so it's a top end uh, ECB Prem ball. And yeah, so we get a better sound off this one. But yeah. So it's a very much a deep sound, but it just pings all over. Um, and you're just going to be super confident if you're using a bat like this uh, in a match. Good. Yeah. See that over. Hey. No risk collapse. Shape is pleasing. And this thing has got a little bit of concaving on it, so people who worry about bats which have concave on them don't be. I mean, this is Will's bat is one he's actually used. It's got a little bit of shape in there um, and it goes so well. Um, massive edges. I do like that camber. I mean, you get an idea here. I know the edges are rounder, but you get that idea of it's not flat across. And I just think when you get it out of that middle, it's just that extra bit sweeter. Now, one thing is, is that it uses a, a 12 piece handle. So that's more, multiple pieces of cane in it. And one of the weaknesses sometimes are you get these little gaps there. Um, may or may not cause a failure down the line, um, but a lot of people like it for the performance. You've got the Keeleys, they also like using the 12 piece as well. So um, for performance reasons, and if you're paying 725 quid, you need outright performance, then uh, that is an option that you can go with with World Class Well, let's go 12. I think they do 12 piece, six piece, four. Um, Personally, not too fussed about how many uh, pieces in there. I do think if I go 12, there's a high rate of failure, but I mean, you can always get another handle put in. Um, yeah, six or four, it's fine for me as well. So personally, not too picky about that, but there are those who are very into their, their um, 12 piece ones. So, you know, if that's something that matters to you, then it's good to know that there is that option there. Um, now, if you were to get a chaos yourself, well, obviously this is Will's, so are you going to get something as special as his? I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, he's a marquee player for World Class Willow, so they're going to try and give him the best that they've got. Um, but the chaoses that I've seen um, are at that level. Um, they are uh, all stunning. They're exceptional performance. It's the best that World Class Willow produces. So, yes, 725 quid. Um, for a chaos is a heck of a lot of money um, but you are getting something exceptional you can specify what it is you want it's not an off-the-shelf bat as much as I love my GM player edition bats they are off-the-shelf bats they are not customized I don't get customized handle uh, I can't specify uh, you know the shape that I have on there or what type of camera I wanted on the face you know, all these things I can't specify but world-class willow um, I can do uh, with the chaos, that's you know a custom experience that you're able to go through, um, and yeah, those that are chasing those pro level bits of wood, um, you're looking at a company like World Class Willow, uh, really, and that's why they've done so well so quickly. You know, we're not talking about a Grey Nichols, a Kookaburra, a Gun and More type company that, that have been going for much much longer, generationally <laughs> ahead. Uh, we're talking about one that is only a few years old but they've climbed the heights look at the players that they've signed recently i think don bess at yorkshire Saqib mahmoud at lancashire you know you've got them sort of improving really quickly in terms of their profile in terms of getting players on board um i know ollie cox at worcestershire who signed his pro contract last uh well actually quite recently i think the last six seven months um so he's with them as well um, the guys that are using them seem to absolutely love them. Um, and yeah, if you as a consumer want to access that level of bat, it's kind of the price that it's going to cost these days, which is sad. You know, I think if they could produce a bat that costs 200 quid, then, then they would. But you're trying to hit, you know, a price point and deliver a product that's exceptional. It's very, very hard to do. So yeah, 725, a lot of money. Um, Obviously, this one slightly different. This is Will Smead's bat, um, and to be honest, I can see why he's hitting bombs with this. It makes me feel like I could go out there. Obviously, I couldn't go out there, 
I'd get destroyed. But it's a wowee thing when you pick it up. It's very much a statement bat if you went out there um, and you really do feel like you mean business. Um, so yeah, this is gonna go into a raffle. Uh, one of quite a few that we're going to be doing. Um, and yeah, I'm really sorry I haven't been around for the last few months. I haven't been particularly well. Uh, the weather hasn't been great. It's been a bit too cold. Um, but yeah, we'll get back onto the reviews now. And it's just really nice to, to have had this one in. Like I said, very special piece of wood, you know, that belongs to a future England player, uh, very much a white ball specialist. Um, gave us an idea to see what World Class Willow can do. Um, I know lots of people have asked me about World Class Willow, what's, what's it all about with them? Uh, well, certainly in this case, uh, an unbelievably good bat. We're not talking about a really good bat, we're talking about like, if you had this, you would not sell it for love nor money. Uh, this thing is basically gonna get you masses of runs, uh, it could potentially win your team games, uh, it is some kind of game-changing bat. Um, as Dan from Wee Cricket said, it's a cheat code in a bat. Um, and I feel like I'm cheating when I use it. So, uh, yeah, thanks to Mike at World Class Willow for sending this over. Um, I don't know what else I can say. I sort of waxed lyrical about it so much. Um, everybody that's been here at the Adderall Shee Cricket Centre that's seen it has been like, wow. Uh, and anybody that's used it probably like had half a dozen guys trying it out and they've just said it's the best bat they've ever used. And obviously you'd hope that in the case of a pro bat, it'd be pretty spectacular. But um, yeah, the feedback on this has been absolutely awesome. So uh, I think I might go back and, and use one of these bowling machines and have another go. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.